Conformity has some definitions that are very important to us, and it can be described by different people in different ways. But here's the different definitions I'm going to tell you as to how I understand conformity. First off, the aircraft meets type design, and these are very specific words the FAA uses. It means that however Cessna designed the airplane, however Boeing designed the airplane, whomever, it means that everything is correct. The airplane is airworthy. There was nothing installed unless it was approved or acceptable. There was nothing that was modified unless it was approved or determined to be acceptable. So how do we determine conformity? Well, we look at the airplane, we look at what items are installed on the airplane. Next, we look at documents. We'll look at the type certificate data sheet for the aircraft, the type certificate data sheet for the engine, and the type certificate data sheet for the propeller. And we'll determine that everything that's on that, the engine, the propeller, are correct for that airplane. The next thing we'll do is we'll look at the equipment list. The equipment list is required for weight and balance, but it has to be kept up to date and it will have everything that is supposed to be installed or can be installed on that airplane will be listed on the equipment list. The next thing we'll do is we'll look at modifications. Was that modification legal to put on the airplane? Was it done correctly? We'll review FAA Form 337s and we'll look at the logbooks and we'll determine that anything that was a major repair or major alteration was correctly documented and correctly performed. And if there's modifications on the airplane that we don't have any paperwork on, no 337s, no logbook entries, then we'll put that under a microscope because that may be a problem.